Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Finger. I'm a clinical professor of ophthalmology and I specialize in ocular tumor, orbital disease, and ophthalmic radiation therapy. I'm director of the New York Eye Cancer Center and a number of ocular tumor services are here in uh, New York City. I have spent 30, over 30 years uh, being an ophthalmic oncologist and I'm a bit of a creative uh, in medicine. I have 14 patents and numerous trademarks. I started in ophthalmic oncology uh, investigating microwave thermal radiotherapy for intraocular tumors. But since that time, I've introduced a number of other procedures, including uh, palladium-103 ophthalmic plaque radiotherapy for intraocular melanomas, primarily uh, topical chemotherapy for conjunctival melanomas, uh, small incision biopsy techniques, uh, and imaging methods, uh, new ultrasound imaging methods, uh, PET-CT imaging methods for eye cancers, and uh, most recently, uh, anti-VEGF therapy for radiation damage inside the eye. Unfortunately, we have to use radiation to cure many of the tumors in and around the eye, and patients do develop radiation complications. Uh, fortunately, in 2005, I noticed that uh, medications, if placed in the eye, can slow down the process of the radiation damage and allow people to see for years and years. Um, it's been uh, now 12 years since then, uh, published on that, and uh, it's been one of the uh, big home runs here at the New York Eye Cancer Center. The, in terms of surgical scope, I treat anything basically that grows in and around the eye. Uh, I have developed uh, less invasive ways to do biopsy of the iris and, and even the orbit behind the eye. Uh, I've developed some new cryotherapy techniques where we can grab tumors of the orbit and gently pull them out uh, using uh, freezing. Uh, I've done a lot of teaching and giving. I'm founding director of the Ocular Tumor Services at the New York Eye and Ear Infirmary. did that in 1989. At NYU School of Medicine, I did that in 1995. And here at the New York Eye Cancer Center in 1998. Therefore, I've seen a lot of people and taught a lot of people, uh, both residents and fellows from around the world. Uh, in 1998, I developed the Eye Cancer Foundation. And um, through the foundation, we've taught patients and their families. We've supported them. And we've uh, supported research um, with the focus on helping doctors work together to, to conquer some of the problems that no one doctor can Alone. Toward that end, uh, I have uh, worked with the American Association for Physicists and Medicine. Uh, those are the medical physicists, the people who calculate radiation dose. I was the sole ophthalmic oncologist uh, for their task group 129 that worked on eye plaque therapy, standardization of methods of calculating the dose, and also quality assurance. Uh, I quickly segued to the American Brachytherapy Society and there I was chair of the committee and therefore I could expand it to uh, approximately 50 people from 10 countries and we used that group of people to, consent, to form a consensus on what would be standard uh, therapy, uh, what uh, techniques to use and which patients are suitable. Uh, for a radiation therapy uh, in the eye using eye plaques. Um, I also at the same time was chair of the American Joint Committee on Cancer's uh, task group. Um, this ophthalmic oncology task force uh, developed a language. Uh, prior to that time uh, in eye cancer centers around the world people would treat tumors of different sizes and call them different things so nobody really could compare their results. Uh, since uh, we completed the seventh edition about eight years ago, and more recently the eighth edition this year, uh, now most eye cancer centers around the world are all using the same staging system so that we can compare our results and add our results together uh, to make even more powerful statistical uh, evidence and evidence-based medicine. Um, the Union for International Cancer Control uh, asked me to write all their chapters. The UICC is basically the American Joint Committee on Cancer for the rest of the world. And uh, it was quite an honor. 
and uh, I uh, completed that uh, two years ago. Uh, Dr. Davida Hellman and Rosenberg asked me to write their chapter for their medical oncology textbook. So reaching out to medical oncology, I was able to bring uh, information from a thomic oncology perspective uh, into that world, uh, writing about uveal melanoma. But the thing that really is, is uh, most exciting of the group is, uh, though they're all quite exciting, is uh, creating and developing a thing called the Eye Cancer Working Day. Uh, having done ophthalmic oncology for many, many, many years, uh, and doctors in general tend to go to meetings and listen to didactic lectures, the lectures over and over again, different doctors, and very important stuff that often winds up in journals that you can read if case you miss the lecture. But what we don't do is tend to get together and uh, create working groups to solve some of the problems that we have in our field. So in 2015, I created uh, a thing called the Eye Cancer Working Day in, in Paris. And 177 doctors and eye cancer specialists from around the world met. And we discussed uh, six problems that we needed to solve and created committees uh, that worked for the following couple of years. And then uh, several months ago in 2017, uh, we met in Sydney and continued our work to develop uh, very important things like standards for uh, fellowship education, uh, doctors reporting their outcomes, um, a uh, open access surgical atlas for doctors in countries that don't even have an eye cancer specialist and uh, the big problem of uh, not having eye cancer specialists in over 30 countries around the world and the poor children with retinoblastoma that don't get uh, uh, seen by anyone with, uh, with good training. Uh, the Eye Cancer Foundation is working on that and we have an initiative to uh, train doctors for unserved countries and uh, I'm quite pleased to say that we have trained 12. So uh, I hope that's a nice overview of uh, what uh, I'm about, what the New York Act Cancer Center is about, and what we hope uh, everybody will uh, continue with uh, over the next uh, years. Please enjoy the lectures uh, that are available here in Vimeo and YouTube, and uh, give us a call.